Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Let us do now one question where we are required to do vertical arrangement of income statement and then calculate required ratios asked in the question. Following is the profit and loss account of Saurav and company for the year ended 31st March 2014. You are required to prepare vertical income statement for the purpose of analysis. We will start with credit side of profit and loss account. Here we have sales, cash sales, credit sales. Total sales we have here in lakhs, less sales returns and allowances. So here we got net sales, 2000 lakhs. Closing stock, this will be deducted from cost of goods sold. Dividend on investment, profit on sale of furniture. These two items are these two are non operating incomes. This will be added to operating profit, opening stock, part of cost of goods sold. Purchases, cost of goods sold, wages, cost of goods sold, factory expenses, cost of goods sold, office salaries, administration expenses, office rent, administration expenses, postage and telegram. Administration expenses, manager's salary, administration expenses, salesman salaries, selling expenses, advertising, selling expenses, delivery expenses, selling expenses, loan interest, financial expense. Depreciation on furniture, administration expense, on plant, cost of goods sold, on delivery van, selling expense, loss on sale of van. This is non operating loss. This will be deducted from operating profit. Income tax, this will be deducted from net profit before tax and finally we have net profit. From the above vertical income statement, we are required to calculate gross profit ratio, operating cost ratio, excluding finance expense stock turnover ratio. We'll start with sales, cash sales, credit sales, less returns. Gross sales, cash sales 520 lakhs, credit sales 1500 lakhs, total sales 
2020 lakhs less returns and allowances 20 lakhs net sales we have 2000 lakhs from net sales we are required to deduct cost of goods sold for calculating cost of goods sold we are required to consider opening stock 700 lakhs purchases 900 lakhs wages 150 lakhs we are required to deduct closing stock 600 lakhs we are required to consider depreciation on plant 30 lakhs Total 2130 lakhs less closing stock 600 lakhs. So we get cost of goods sold 1530 lakhs from net sales will deduct cost of goods sold to arrive at gross margin so we got gross margin 470 lakhs from this we are required to deduct operating expenses In operating expenses, first we have office and administration over its. Continue. We are required to consider office salaries, office rent, postage and telegram, manager salary, depreciation on office furniture. Total office and administration over its 85 lakhs. Next, we have selling and distribution expenses. Here, we are required to consider salesman salaries, advertising, delivery expenses depreciation on delivery van selling and distribution expenses total is 70 lakhs we can add now office and selling expenses it is 155 lakhs this will have to deduct from gross margin our gross margin is 470 lakhs so we get operating profit 315 lakhs while calculating this operating profit we are not considered interest on loan therefore this will be called as operating net profit before interest 315 lakhs operating net profit before interest we got 315 lakhs to this we will add non-operating income
डिविडेंड ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट टेन लैक्स प्रॉफिट ऑन सेल ऑफ फर्निचर ट्वेंटी लैक्स After adding non-operating income, we get 345 lakhs. From this, we are required to deduct non-operating expenses and losses. Loss on sale of van. This is a non-operating loss. Five x. After deducting this five x, we are getting three hundred and forty as profit before interest and tax. From this, we are required to deduct interest on loan. Here we have loan interest twenty lakhs. Net profit before tax we have 320 lakhs. Here income tax is given 175 lakhs. Finally, we got net profit after tax 145 lakhs. We have completed vertical income statement. Now we are required to calculate ratios. First we have gross profit ratio. Formula is gross profit upon net sales multiplied by 100. Our gross margin or gross profit 470 lakhs. Our net sales 2000 lakhs. Gross profit ratio is 23.5%. Operating cost ratio excluding finance expenses. Operating cost ratio excluding finance expenses. Formula is cost of goods sold plus administration expenses plus selling expenses divided by net sales multiplied by 100. Operating cost ratio excluding finance expenses 84.25%. Next we have stock turnover ratio stock turnover ratio formula is cost of goods sold cogs divided by average stock formula for average stock is Opening plus closing stock divided by 2. Let us first calculate average stock. Opening stock 700 lakhs. Closing stock 
600 lakhs. Average stock is 650 lakhs. Cost of goods sold. We have 1530 lakhs. Divided by average stock. Divided by average stock. 650 lakhs. So answer is 2.35 times. We have calculated all ratios. We have arranged profit and loss account in vertical format as required by the question. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.